Okay, well, let's get the other easy one out of the way. Because it's right across the hall. Probably the next one we have to go to anyway. Oh yeah, two, literally. Alan's home. Pretty rustic, probably on a ship, I would be guessing. And it looks like there's the darkness behind there, so I'm guessing this is where we're going to get a way to get rid of that. Yeah. Doc Wales told me to write, so I'm writing. Even though I don't want to write, what I want to do is scream at people. A woman by the lighthouse today told her meat-headed boyfriend I was looking at her funny, and he punched me in the gut. I wish I could bury both of them in the ground. I'm so mad I'm seeing red. Ah. Okay. Anything else? Tape Alan, a yellow cassette tape of my recorded sessions with Alan. Something stops me from getting closer. Yeah. Back we go. Up to floor two. Hold on, did I just see another eyeball thing there? I did. Yep. Try to get that. Where is it? Right here? Ah, Homemark coin. It's a coin with the Homemark logo on it. Interesting. Oh, oh. What? Ah, Alan Shore, the one-man freak show, who made all your other patients seem well-adjusted by comparison. From the first moment he stepped into your office, Okay, then. Um, oh yeah. Check the... Zero room. Alright. Anything in the mirror? There's the vinyl behind the door. No key though. That's gotta be later. It's gotta be like the end of the game. Where we solve our own. Well, in that case, roof stairs. Back here. They just batteries. Health. Roof. What's that? It's emitting a faint hum. Okay, is that for later then? Can't go from the right here. Probably the same with the right side here. Hmm. Oh, it's just health, okay. Faint hum, huh? Some sort of an electrical gizmo. Do I just have to point this to something then? Oh, I can zoom in and out. Okay, one zoom, I guess. Or several. What'd be the point? So we don't have a use for it yet.
Ah, okay, well. Probably come back. All right, on the next area. Is Meow. there a link between Virginia and Alan? I wouldn't rule it out. I guess I'm about to find out. Be careful, Desmond. Next tape. Don't be gone too long. The Alan's probably going to be on a ship. I know it. I say it's gotta be one of them. A crow, a murder of crow. Have you ever seen anyone about these recurring nightmares? Like a shriek, like you? No. Honestly, for the longest time, I thought it was normal life to wake up sweating, to see things in the dark, frightful things. Ah, we're on an island, okay. I was gonna say, I was thinking it'd be a boat. Patmos Beach. Look at you, Mr. Private Detective. What do you think is behind all this? Bigfoot? Aliens? Big bad government officials? Shed some light on the situation, why don't you? Okay, well first I'm gonna go left, because it wants me to go right. Health and ammo. Is that? I guess so. Oh, 
Oh, a lot of blue. Oh. Say, is it something from the ground, or is it those crows? I guess it's those crows. What is that? The light. I have to restore it. Ooh. So... Is it going to keep spinning? I think so. So don't get hit by the red light. Is that what I'm doing? So, Cove Wood. Where'd it go from here? Anything else over here? Something isn't right with these waters. Oh. oh yeah, don't get hit by the red light. And don't go in the water. On the other side. Alright, so that's this area is done. Except for the forest. Both the light and dark will hurt you. Perhaps, like him, you should get a job at the lighthouse. Alone and afraid. In Greek mythology, Icarus flies too close to the sun and it kills him. I'll spare you the analogy. In our story, you're going to bring the sun to Alan. And the both of you will burn. Okay. Oh, look out, Wharf Lighthouse. Hmm. Well, I'm supposed to go to the lighthouse first. Anything hiding over here? There's that blue thing all the way over there. Nothing really in the woods. Anything in there? Yep, there is. Or not.
Ah. Oh. Make it easier to read. Mayor of Pharmaceuticals Incident Report Form. Full name Max Nigard. 210 Main Street, Department 1, Milton Haven. Emergency contact Alice Nigard. Um, 693838. Day of incident 3-8-1997. Time 2 a.m. Location of incident. On the road near the Icarus Lighthouse. Description of incident. I thought it was a blown tire at first, but the asphalt in the road is melting or something. Truck stopped short of a few hundred feet. Okay. Interesting. So. Oh. Use the ammo I got. Ooh. Can they go through? They can. Okay, now I can use all that health that is lying around. This is also open. Dang it. it smells funny. Cause I gotta shoot it. Nah, it's gonna come around again. off this thing? Yeah. Shoot. Oh, I gotta jump over this. I don't know how that didn't get me, but whatever. There we go. What do we got? Ah, pills. Info center. It's blocked from the other Yeah, side. that figures. Oh, ammo. To the roof, of course. Oh. Boom, boom. There's two bullets. We got more? Yes. Oh, mystery deepens in lighthouse fire. Milton Gazette. News you can trust. Column by George Evelos. On Monday last week, we at Virgil County Gazette found out that an ominous call had been made to local police. A caller on the other side of the line did not identify himself, but after some investigating... We believe it might have been Milton Evans, Ellen Shore, lighthouse operator at the beloved Patmos Bay. Ask any county local and... March 13, 1997. 
Ah, just top of the top of the paper. Okay. All right, so it's probably insane for me to go to the right there, right? Yeah. Yes, anything that okay, gets past. That's the way up. That's locked. Now what's up this way first? We're cut. Looks like it. Then why what's down here? Ah. Paper and ammo and snacks. I need more of this. They will tell you that Virgil Country residents, specifically in Milton Haven, are no strangers to spooky events and unexplainable phenomena, from disappearing children to reports of ghost sightings and extraterrestrial visits. So why has this incident caught our attention so? As many of you know, last week's mysterious blackout and maybe not so coincidental fire at Patmos Lighthouse grounds may very well be linked. And then Shore's house after the arson. Huh. Where is this? Hmm. Hey, where is this blue thing over here? Oh, that's all the way over there. Uh, I'll get that later. Another... Yep. As an investigation is ongoing, according to Milton Haven's Sheriff's Office, the details of the above-mentioned phone call must remain undisclosed, but this reporter and Home Mart employee of the month has a knack for getting in trouble in order to get at the truth. More to follow on the next edition of Milton Mystery. Ah. Okay. There's a light. Rips bones. There's a container ship. I guess. Just foreshadowing. Hmm, Icarus Lighthouse, authorized to be constructed by President Harrison in 1889 and completed in 1891, at a cost of $22,300. When the lighthouse was completed, it stood some 300 feet from the edge of the cliff. The sandstone tower is 28 feet in diameter, of an octagonal shape, and 80 feet to the lantern. Also, who cares? We're all going to die sooner or later, and these facts mean nothing. Are you even sure that you're really standing here reading this? Maybe this is some sort of horrific fever dream. Here's a random number, 300,000. Alan Shore was burned alive by the government. Okay. They climb over. Unstable. That's the stuff you can shoot. Nothing for stars. Ammo. 
It stopped. Oh, it's still going. And it's blowed up. No. Hey, blow us up though. Forgot these things. These crates have stuff. Danger! No unauthorized entry. Dangerous chemical and biological agents have been detected in this area. Milton Wharf. Echo's Lighthouse, which may lead to serious injury, illness, or death. You okay? Oh, we're going in because reason. And progression. Oh. Use lights to combat the shade. Jeez. You don't give up. Smeniac probably melted the keys to all the doors along with his damned house. When the management hears about it, it's gonna be your ass. Get someone to go in there and fish them out if they still exist. I'm not seeing a foot in there. The whole thing seems unstable and smells of burnt human flesh. Signed, Agent something. The United States of America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Nyom. All right, fuses. Okay. It's a fuse box. Two. Ooh. Okay. Use three. Use two. I guess they're going to fuse two. Ah, oh, because fuse one goes over there. Okay. Where's the light? It. Hold on. Oh, he trips it. Okay. Oh, so you gotta do that. All right. It's a fuse box. Now will it work? No. Right. So take the fuse here. Run over here. Just fuse. No. Okay. That means we need another fuse. Is it? Is it by that light then? You're running fast enough, maybe I can see. No, I don't think so. Okay. I can't progress yet, right? Where does three progress. go? Three goes over there. Maybe I can't. I just gotta go over there. Ah, because I gotta go around behind. I had to go over here and get him to do this. Yep. Ah, that's a fuse. All right, so I have to use him. Is that 
enough. Alright, so it wasn't a fuse, it was just a piece. A pill. I... No. Alright. Here it is. Run. Run. Yoink. It's a fuse box. Put a fuse in. That flips. Put a fuse in. That lights. There we go. Batteries. Then come over here. Damn it. Safe in here, I guess. Nope. There we go. It's tricky to get him over there. Health. Alright. I got a little run thing here. Or not? Maybe he won't come in here. Oh, I see. Take a look at yourself through the looking glass and see how shrouded in darkness a mind like Alan's could be. It's out of fuel. Ah. All right. Bright illuminated oil. The lantern is off. Oil can. It has some oil left in it. It's an old oil lantern. I was in the tower when it happened. I took the route down the cliffs and to the boathouse. Falling as I fumbled around, unable to see. Nothing. Ah, need more. What was that? Oh. Sunken to the bottom. Ever bit of me is dark. Every bit of me is dark. Fish. That looks like... Oh, it's on the... No, it's still inside. Okay. Ah. Real can. Cool. Nothing else? Alright. It's kind of hard to do that. Of all the nightmares I'd had to date, this must be the worst. My light went out and there was an accident. Oh god, it's all my fault. Uh oh. I'll say that's the oil, I just saw it. I guess he just feels guilty that the light went out and he didn't put it up fast enough. The 
lantern is off. Oh. Key. Ah, I see. Okay. He's out of here. Fish. And for the notes. Daunting. Hungry for more. Anxious. That ship is death. It bears death's name. I managed to find one of those flare guns from inside the belly of the beast. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh. Ah, so is the ship. That crash probably that we saw. The monsters I was told that I was making up have now stepped forth out of the shadows. Hmm. Yep. Crash, crash. Every bit of me, every bit of me is dark. Oh. Sunk into the bottom. Was that right here? Yep. Light. Ooh. I need to clear the darkness around it first. It's an yep. old oil lantern. Oh. Not oh, the double oil lantern. By my light, the darkness will burn. I need to call Desmond. He would understand. Oh, that. Oh, I feel shivers down Let there be light. I can think of a beam. It literally just shows him crawling around. All right, I just gotta get there. Push just through the door. Boom. Wonder if I need that use. Take it. Why not? Use. Use. It's a fuse box. Wanted to get out. Well, I don't need that either. All right, I'll take them both. The door leading to the courtyard is locked. Cool. Elf. Ammo. So much I can carry. Oh, don't need yet. Agent, instructions are to take all highly flammable containers of something from the bay where the something and move them indoors. No smoking. Fire guns are explosives near this crap. Keep an eye on that driver smoking around transport. If he gives you blank about it, arrest him. Dang it.
Hmm. Oh. Find the fire source to clear the black into lighthouse. I thought I shot those before. Come on. Oh, I'm of the darkness. I see. Darkness is protecting it. 